Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 14 of my Rebel Lucky PV1 Ventura build for Models for Heroes. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. Well, I'm back from my hollybobs with Swimbo. She must be obeyed. And we had a great time. Uh, we had a few days away at the Tornado Heritage Centre at Broughton and Chester. Big thanks to you folks. So, thanks for your patience and let's get back to it. Do you remember the last episode and how all the masking tape kept pulling the paint off? Well, I've decided to go with the blue tack worms. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing, crack on and get those worms made and attached. So, here goes. <laughs> There we go, that's both wings done. Now for the drop tanks.
go, that's both tanks done. Now time for a bit of cleanup on the wings, then we can get them resprayed. So, here goes. <laughs> sprayed so while they dry let's start to put the bombs in the bomb bay There we go, bombs on. Now time to paint a couple of drop tanks, so let's crack on. And drop tanks done. Now for the top of the wing masking, so here goes. Both wings prepped and ready for spraying. Ooh, I know. Let's look at the drop tanks. See how they came out. Hmm, not too shabby. I'm happy with those. Anyway, now for the intermediate grey on the top wing surface. What's this? Third time? Anyway, let's crack on. There we go, that's the grade done. These were left overnight. Now, fingers crossed, let's see how this has gone. Really? Are you taking the piss? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh well, let's crack on. One underwing done and looking okay. Okay, let's pop that over there and see how the second wing turned out. Let's hope this one comes out better. Really? This is just going too far. I have a horrid feeling this is the black primer I'm using and it's not good at all. Anyway, I'll have to rectify this later. If you're wondering how I deal with a problem like this mentally, well, I allow myself a right good rant and chunter at said item. Then let it go. There's nothing you can do about it. Then we just crack on, deal with the problem at hand, and try to make it look like something happened. 
try to work it into the model, which I will show you how I did that later on. Anyway, let's crack on and finish the unmasking. <laughs> Okay, so that's him masking done. Now to rectify this bloody issue. I'm making a backstory up. I'm going to paint over these with a slightly different colour paint. Not too much, but just slightly. This is going to be to emulate the paint being blasted with the black sands of Iwo Jima, as it was in the Pacific and there's going to be huge winds there. And then chunks coming off whilst in flight. Then someone coming along and repainting the areas. That's my backstory for it and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, let's crack on and get this rectified. There we go, that's done. Now let's crack on and get the Bombay door saw. There we go, Bombay door sorted and looking good. Yet another great feature on this kit, it really does go together well for a Revel. Now, to move on to some mottling, I'm using a metal stencil here to emulate tonal variation. I'm gonna use original color with a drop or two of white just to highlight it slightly. So, here goes. Modeling all done and this seems like a good place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 14. If you want to see what happens in episode 15, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment 
and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>